Hello, in this DAW programming video, I am going to show you the type def operator. So the type def operator allows you to essentially create aliases for functions. And what's cool about that is instead of just passing a variable to a function, you could pass in essentially a function into another function. It sounds, you know, pretty sort of complicated, but it actually isn't. So imagine if we have a calculator. So let's say if I create a couple of methods, addition, and this one is int num1, int num2, and I'm simply just going to print out num1 plus num2. And if I do methods for subtraction and division as well, subtraction, and this is just minus. If I do it for multiplication, this is just time. And finally, if I do it for division, this is just well divide. If I want to, you know, use one of these, I could just do addition, like so, pass in a value like these two. And if I want to do one for subtraction. I could pass in another value. I'll, I'll pass in the same values. So you can see you know, the difference in the results. But I think you can guess what they'll be. Multiplication. Division. And if I run it, we'll get 15, 5, 50. And it's 2. two so that is all. You know, fantastic. So, but we've called them, you know, individually. What we can do, so these are common sort of functions, they're like part of a calculator. We could use the keyword type def, and then we could say, you know, operator and put int num1, int num2. So, this basically just sort of emulates the overall structure of these methods because they're all you know just taking in two integers and you know that's it so we don't have a body for this because this just acts as like a, an alias a shortcut then we have the main function so calculation and we can call this whatever we want this takes in two numbers int num one int num two and this takes uh, one more parameter which is this so operator and we'll call this up alias and now to actually run this we just do up alias num1 comma num2 at the moment it doesn't know which you know one of these methods it should run but the way it will know is based on what we do here. So if I just common out all of this, we don't need any of this for now. If I create a you know, an operation and I'll call it up and we say that this equals to addition. Undefined class uh, operator operator and that's error disappear now and, and now if we do up and we pass in the value 90 and 80 we don't need to pass in an extra parameter this is just inferred from the fact that we've you know done equals to as you can see this prints out 170 it knows it needs to do addition and if we overwrite it we do up equals multiplication instead and now run the op operator and let's say if we do 10 comma 8 we should get 80 because we have called the multiplication operator and that's really all there is to the type def operator if you have any questions if you're struggling with anything of implementing it in a particular sort of scenario feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video.